was that? Major Prasad? They got her? God damn it. Fuck this place. Fuck it. Welcome, Rangers. You may approach the Patriot. Three. When there were fifty. Cold logic says I should turn you away. That there aren't enough of you left to do the job at hand. The Dorseys didn't just attack you. They attacked my city. This one was trying to burn down our jail. If you want some vengeance for what was done to you, he's yours. If you insist. <clears throat> Thank you. It's been too long since I've dealt with my problems firsthand. I'd like to do the same to all the Dorseys. And maybe, with your help, I will. But for now, let me address your immediate needs. In addition to this base and the aid I promised your general, I'll be giving you the resources to return your force to full strength. Recruiting, training, and equipping. It's not enough. I know. The men and women you lost can never be replaced, but it's what I can give you. I hope you'll accept it. My hands don't shake. There's nothing wrong with me. And if you say there is, you'll be going back to Arizona empty-handed, understood? Now quit asking about things that aren't your concern, and answer the question. Will you accept my offer? I'm glad to find you so amenable. I hope that means we're going to get along. Now... <sighs> introductions. My name is Saul Buchanan. I own Colorado, though you'll meet some who disagree. This base is your new home. From here, you'll aid my people and, more importantly, do the job I brought you here to do. Now... Yes, Joe? Pardon, Patriarch. It's Daisy. An update on the Garden of the Gods? All right. Sorry, Rangers. Still putting out fires. Two of my best are waiting for you inside. Darius Kwan of the Marshals and my old friend Sergei Gretzky. Go see him. I'll be in when I'm done here. Not a chance. <coughs> Welcome, Rangers. I'm Marshal Darius Kwan. And this here's Sergei Gretzky. Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. Been rough around here these last few days. Dorsey's attacked us too. Snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. Situation's under control now. Mostly. The Patriarch. Thank God they never got near him. He's the only thing keeping Colorado from tearing itself apart. And sorry about these alarms. Something must have triggered the old security system. Trouble is, there's a bunch of angry robots guarding the computer that shuts them off. How you deal with them is your call. Your base, your rules. Yeah, weird, huh? They weren't active when we looked the place over a few days back, but... Ah, 
Let's talk after you kill the alarms. I can hardly hear myself think. A lion, a lion, a lion, you the lion. A more big to you, a secure, bumper bed facility you to be trespassing your kids. If all for a patient or you will be pressed up defeat. Well done, Rangers. Good to see the place up and running. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. The reason you're here. As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons. Liberty, Valor, and Victory. Two of them conspired against me, and the third blackens the Buchanan name with every breath he takes. Consequently, I banished them. They've been skulking in the shadows ever since, but lately there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course. But apparently my dear children believe them, and they've started making new plans. Ain't you smart. I'm not worried about my children defeating me, Rangers. They won't. Not even Liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. They'll tear my land and my people to shreds. They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. That's why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. And when I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. They're my blood. Kill them and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? Good. Then let me tell you where they are. Victories hold up in Aspen. Valor's under the protection of the Gippers in Denver. And Liberty's raising an army against me somewhere out on the Eastern Plains. Anything else you need to know? What do you want to know? Divided loyalty, that's why. I trust my guards, but they don't leave my side. Ever. Everybody else. Everybody else is making plans for when I'm gone. The Hundred Families, the Gippers, the Marshals, they're all out for themselves. And they know my kids would make good figureheads, give them some legitimacy. Any Coloradan I send to bring Vic, Val, and Libby back home might think they'll get a better deal elsewhere. But not you. I'm the only one who can save your people. Nobody else can get supplies to Arizona before they starve to death. That's why it's you who's doing this. You've got the only loyalty that works. The loyalty of self-interest. 
Hmm. Boy's never been right in the head. Since he was a baby, he'd torture cats, terrorize the servants, set the house on fire, and he's only got worse. The things he's done to the women he finds. Anyway, I finally had enough and put the little monster under house arrest up in Aspen. I guess they weren't prepared, because he escaped a while ago and then came back with a gang of freaks and turned the place into a slaughterhouse. Now he's on the radio, laughing about what he's going to do to his hostages and daring me to come after him. He, uh, claims he's captured some rangers as well. Don't get your hopes up. Vic likes to play with hostages. Might not be much left by the time you find them. <sighs> Soft, spoiled, fiddled with computers all day instead of learning the arts of diplomacy and war. Finally packed him off when he accidentally crashed my security systems right before his sister's little coup attempt. Made him my official ambassador to the Gippers, hoping he'd do to their systems what he'd done to mine. That was a mistake. He took his revenge by convincing them to cut off oil shipments to my city. No oil means no heat, no light, and no food for my people. So getting Valor back and resuming oil shipments from the Gippers has to happen now. No, but the Gippers are tough and well-armed, and Denver's a death trap. Liberty's got more brains and cunning than both her brothers put together. She's the only one who could actually run Colorado. Problem is, she'd run it as a goddamn slave state. Everyone in chains, everyone working for her. Wouldn't worry about her for now, though. Best to wait until you got a little more firepower. She's gonna be well protected. <sighs> She's already tried once. Got all the way to the palace steps before we chased her off. She's been licking her wounds out east ever since. You'd better. Anything else? Uh huh. The last dregs of a treacherous family. Thought I'd wipe them out years ago, but... <sighs> Mistakes linger, Rangers. I know that better than most. Possibly. But I know the Dorsey's from the old days. They don't take orders well. Then again, I wouldn't have guessed they'd have the guts to attack both you and Colorado Springs at the same time. So somebody put some fire in them. My staff and I coordinated the details of your arrival using coded transmissions on radio frequencies we thought were secure. Obviously, they were not. And you paid for it. I take full responsibility. Good. What else do you need? Of course. Now, if you want a chance to impress me, and maybe get a little payback, that call I got outside was from Sheriff Daisy, the head of the Marshals in Colorado Springs. She's having trouble rousting some Dorseys who have been holed up in the Garden of the Gods since their raid fell apart. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the Rangers can do. That's what I like to hear. I expect great things from you, Rangers. Do good work. All right, let's move out.
Rangers. Come talk to me when you've got a moment. What a disgust. Good job, Rangers. Nice to be able to hear ourselves think again. And now that it's quiet enough to talk, let me reintroduce you to the great Sergei Gretzky, who's going to be helping you with personnel. Hi again, Rangers. Damn sorry about your people. But now that you're here, we'll do what we can to get you back on your feet and find you some new recruits, just like the Patriarch promised you. And I already got you one of the best. Meet Marcelo Gonzalez, electronics wizard, radio technician, and former dispatcher for the marshals. He'll be your radio operator. Howdy, Rangers. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Should help you out. If you want to chat, I'll be in the operations room getting things up and running. Should be more recruits arriving soon. Ready to tell me how you want to fill out your squad? My advice is to put together a squad with complementary skills. Nobody can be great at everything. So pick recruits who are good at things your current team isn't. And you can always round out your squad with folks you meet along the way. Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded up. Here. Get ready. Look, are you who oh, are we going? Are you crazy? If you want to brawl, knock yourselves out.
Listen, I can get you all the fighting troops you need, but if you meet any talented people in your travels, don't hesitate to sign them up. Now that we've got that sorted, let's talk about the next steps. Now you're the boss here, so I'm not going to tell you what to do, but getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. That means surveying the base and finding specialists to staff it. Perfect. That'll give you a chance to see if any of the junk around here is worth keeping before I toss it all out. After that, you might want to give Sheriff Daisy a hand. If you impress her, maybe she'll hook you up with some specialist for the base. Anyway, your call. Colorado Springs is straight out the main gate. If you want to go to Denver or Aspen, just hop back in your car and go out the way you came in. Uh, well? Ha <laughs> well, Sergey won't blow his own horn, so I'll do it for him. He's Colorado's greatest war hero. Fought by the Patriarch's side from the beginning, and saved the old man's life about a hundred times, right, Sergey? 75. Tops. Now, let me tell you about Mr. Slick here. Nobody knows the streets and alleys of Colorado Springs, or the people that live there better than dashing Darius Kwan. You're too kind, Sergey. Yeah, I was getting a little itchy doing the same old, same old in the marshals. And retirement was driving me stir crazy. Just sitting around listening to the paint peel. I jumped at the chance to help you folks out. It's no lie that I've been looking to leave the marshals, but you're right. That's not the whole story. The Patriarch asked me to keep an eye on you, so... Here I am. And I am truly sick of retirement. But... Yeah. I'm doing the Patriarch a favor, too. Let's say... Liaisons. The Patriarch wants you to succeed. And he knows it's not gonna be easy. You're strangers in a strange land. You don't know the politics. You don't know the personalities. Who hates who? Where the bodies are buried. That's where we come in. We're here to make sure you don't make too many rookie mistakes. Step on the wrong toes. And yeah, we're supposed to report back to the Patriarch about how you're doing. But you didn't really expect to be left completely to your own devices, did you? Not sure exactly. We came by a week and a half ago, and it was stone quiet. We were gonna get the place cleaned up before you got here. But then the Dorseys attacked the city, so it got put on the back burner. Something must have triggered the security systems between then and now. Could have been anything. Uh, one sec. Forgive me for saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are gonna need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So, what if I joined your squad? At least until you find your feet. Great. I'm at your disposal. Lead the way. <coughs>
pretty grand in here. Maybe you can make it your trophy hall or museum or something. Or a handball court. Please, don't shoot. Who... Who are you? You're not dressed like the marshals. I'm Del Hackett, and I... Well, I, I speak for these people. We've been living here for months, and we've got nowhere to go. Please, will you let us stay? Bad idea. I've been in their shoes, but this is a military base. If we have squatters everywhere, it'll be hard to keep discipline. Your recruits won't like it either. The Patriarch's people don't care about people like us. But you're not beholden to them. We all farmed in the border country between Colorado and the Plains. Thought we were safe out there, under the Patriarch's protection. Back then, the gangs feared the Patriarch. <laughs> Not anymore. They burned our greenhouses and killed everyone who tried to fight them. No place left to run but here. For any of us. Not intentionally. The Patriarch's people drove up to the base a few days ago, so we hid in here for a while. Then when Andy went to check if they left, all the doors slammed shut and the alarms started whooping. Don't know what happened. Been living in these ruins for weeks, and we never set anything off before. We're not welcome there. They already have too many mouths to feed, and more are always coming. Your call won't make the volunteers happy, but the Patriarch put you in charge, not them. You said yes. Uh, well, I was sure you wouldn't. We won't be any trouble, I promise, and, and we'll help out wherever we can. <sighs> Thank you for giving us a chance. Oh, and uh, one of our people is missing, Andy. If you find him hiding out somewhere, you send him back to us. Hear that, everyone? We gotta make ourselves useful around here.
Hey, dudes. Hi. Well, what's up? Haven't seen you before, have I? Rangers, huh? Cool, man. Cool. I, uh, like your look. I think I had a shirt like that once a long time ago. Long, long time ago. Um, headquarters for what? Arizona. Arizona. That sounds far, real far. Are there like more of you here? Oh, so not many then, huh? Don't worry. You'll make new friends, I bet, though. You, uh, you seem real friendly and nice, so... Hey, what, uh, what? Oh, yeah, man, of course. I don't, I, I don't mind. Ask me whatever. My name? Uh, yeah, ah, uh, Ned. Ned? Harry. Nick? Booger? Dickens? What? Something like that. Honestly, I don't, you know, remember. Been a long time since I thought about that, man. Been a longer time since someone, uh, asked me about it. I... I kind of been here for a while. Couldn't tell you, man. Couldn't tell you. Like... There's no windows or clocks in here, you know? Hard to keep track of when the day, uh, when the day starts or ends. Anyway, a long time, long enough for other groups, uh, other people to come and go. You know, man, I, uh, I got everything I need in here to keep on. Little, uh, Little crack in the ceiling over there drips some water. So I just gotta uh, lick the wall when I'm thirsty. And uh, you know what they say about dark, damp spaces, man. Mushroom go there, man. <laughs> so I added a little self, uh, self-made fertilizer. And those mushrooms are growing good. Yeah, man, yeah. Yum, yum. Oh, yeah, and uh, bugs, when they come by. Buzzy crunchers and climby snappers and skittery two bites and running gushers. Sometimes roly poppers and hoppy specks. Once a squirmy slurp. That was a good day, man. But yeah, mainly mushrooms. Yeah, sure, uh, maybe. 
Sometimes, like, a guy might come in, but I don't know if he was connected to the guy who came in before him, you know? Kinda... Kinda hard to keep track of how long it is between visits. And people don't always tell me what's going on outside. But, uh, let me see. Last guy who came in to see me was the dead guy. Before him, tired eyes lady. Before her, the smiling woman. Before that, it's a little fuzzy. Oh man, that's uh, that's some wild stuff. So a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here all nervous and uh, freaked out and starts messing with that uh, computer machine over there. And yeah, then there's this big ass flash of light from the computer machine and he falls down and then all these uh, sirens and flashing lights. It was horrible, man. Like it made it really hard to sleep, you know? Then after a while, the alarm stopped, and then, uh, well, you came in. Well, she was, uh, she was a woman, dressed all raggedy, but, uh, I'm one to talk on that. <laughs> Anyway, she came in here looking sad. Eyes looked like she hadn't, uh, hadn't seen a good night's rest in years. We talked, um, for a bit, and then she left again. Sometimes I think I can still hear her voice. Hope she didn't die and she's haunting me for some reason. Though, now that I think about it, I guess I'd be glad for company, you know? Oh, a real nice lady, man. Had a big old smile on her face the whole time we talked. Just never stopped smiling. I think she said she was a trader. Talked about how she had some merchandise to keep here and some people she was gonna deal with. Said I wasn't uh, a suitable client, which, sure, cause uh, I got no money. Well, actually she said I wouldn't be suitable for her clients, which I thought was a weird way to, uh, to say that. You know, man, it's, um, I've been here a long time, and I, and I ate a lot of mushrooms. G can't always remember things that happened in the, uh, olden days, but uh, I'll try. There was, and there was, um, and there was a gentleman bear, the lip licker, and, uh, the bloody screamers, and, uh, and the metal fellers. The really white guy, an owl, uh, owl face. Oh, and the six wee men and the lion. But, uh, yeah, hard to remember who came in first and uh, which ones were just a nursery rhyme my grandma told me, so. Yeah, yeah, okay. Cool. Because, uh, the cell door is locked. Aw, <laughs> oh, man, didn't you like my joke? Okay, okay, like, well, so a guy I used to be friends with, well, I guess he was more of a, more of a business partner. Friend, though, too, man. Former friend who decided he didn't uh, want to go splitsies anymore, so he uh, he 
conked me on the head. And when I woke up, um, I, I was in here. Real bummer, man. Like, seriously. Oh, I didn't, uh, didn't so a while ago, that dead guy opened me. Then after a while, the alarm stopped, and then, uh, well, you came in. What? That's, uh, that's really something else. Some poison killed that poor guy at the exact same time as that machine zapped him? Man, what a... What a wacky world. Oh, yum. Mushrooms are the best, man. So, uh, so many flavors. And they grow every, uh, everywhere and grow easy. I love them. Who knew they were poisonous ones? <laughs> Yes, please. Very much. Uh, your call on this one, Rangers, but really, I just let nature take its course here, if you know what I mean. I'd, uh, I'd really, really, really like to get out of here. Really. Really? Oh, man. Yeah, man, you're just the tops. The beanies. I owe you big time. Thanks, man. Thanks so much. Oh, yay! Thank, uh, thank you so much, man. I owe you big, uh, real big time. This won't be the last time you hear from me. <laughs> You're good people, Rangers. We'll find a way to pay you back. Anything you need? <sighs> Andy. Damn it. I was afraid of that. We've been locked up for days, but at least we had our supplies with us. How did he... <laughs> no. I don't want to know. Enough death in this world. Don't need the details to make it even more bitter. Thanks for telling me, Rangers. I'll break it to the others. Sure. Andy may have. He's the only one of us who knew computers. I told him to stay out of there because I was afraid of, well, uh, of something like what happened when this whole place got locked down. We stay away from that awful room. Nothing but death in there. Yep. There was a man locked in there when we moved in. Living off insects and mushrooms in his cell. I... Well, I... I left him locked up after I met him. I... I felt bad about that. He was cordial enough, but... Ugh, he just kept asking questions that felt... Off. And those glassy eyes. Booby traps, mostly. One of my people disarmed an explosive on a door, but missed a gas mine under the floor panel on the other side. She was vomiting for a week. Almost died. I told everyone to avoid the room after that. No one here is worth losing over whatever guns may or may not be in there. Poked my head in there and saw a giant robot next to a dead body. Hard pass. We first got into the base through a hole in the archive room's wall. Some critters living in there chased us around, but we managed to shut them in before anyone got seriously hurt. We've been trying to snare them for a while for fresh meat, but 
They just chew through the ropes like they're Sour Patch Kids. Careful out there. It's an uncaring world. Stink. Somebody's been using this med bay for a morgue. Then a Look at all this machinery. If we can get it all running, this will be a good spot for your armory. Pretty grand in here. Maybe you can make it your trophy hall or museum or something. Or a handball. Please, don't shoot. Who... Who are you? I'm d bad. The Patriarch's people don't care about people like... Back then, the gangs feared the pa The Patriarch... Don't know what happened. We're not... You're f you said... Yes. Uh, we won't be... Oh. Hear that, everyone? We gotta make ourselves useful around here. Oh, hey. Uh, hey, 
Hey, dude. Rangers, huh? Arizona. Ari zone ah. That sounds... Oh, so not many then, huh? Oh, yeah, man. Something like... I... I kind of been here. Couldn't, like, anyway, a long time. Little man, so I had a... Yeah, man. Oh, but that wasn't... But yeah, mainly mushrooms. Yeah, I, but uh, oh, so and then after a while, and we hope she. Oh, so and then after a while, oh, I think she said, well, actually, she said I wouldn't be suitable in there, but uh, oh, so and then after a while, only a little. Yeah, 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 okay. Could be good. <laughs> uh, a friend when I woke up, uh, sure, so a while, and then after a while, the alarm stopped, and then, uh, yeah, 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 okay. Good. I thought he was my... Uh, sure, man. Who do you want? Yeah, 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 okay. Cool. Cool, man. I've been stuck in here for, um... Do you, um... Do you think you could maybe do... Cool, cool, I, I get it, man. No pressure, but, uh... Sure. so much, man. Thanks for, uh, the assist, dudes. I, uh, I owe you big time. You're good people, Rangers. We'll find a way to pay you back. Anything you... How did he... Thanks for telling me, Rangers. Sure. Andy may have. Andy may have. We stay away from that awful room. I... And those glassy eyes. Boop. One of my people. I told everyone to avoid the room after that. Poked my head in there and saw a giant robot next to a dead body. We first... We've been trying to snare him for a while for fresh meat, but... Careful out there. It's an uncaring world. A stink. Somebody's been you. Look at all this machinery. If we can get it all running, this will be a good spot.
I need to rest a spell. Catch my breath. That all right with you? Ah, uh, I'm still healing up. Go out and find your foot in while I get back on my feet. Oh man, more every day. This place is nice and all. Kind of majestic with all the mountains and wild weather, but it's hard to enjoy it when I know everybody back home is dying by inches. We gotta finish up our business with the Patriarch and get the supplies he promised us back home. People are counting on us. My folks are counting on us. Sorry, I just want to get this done and get back to them. Later! Syst system systems active. Greetings, Rangers. Systems, system, system, systems active. Greetings, Rangers.